I've been here for the two months. We came from Libya. And uh, this is very cold. We passed through it last year. This is very winter. We were inside the school last year. As you can see here, here it's very cold now. Even our rooms, they are all cold. No heater. We have been complaining. We don't really know if the governments are giving the, the money or things that we need to the Red Cross, but we are not receiving it from the Red Cross. We have been in this Italy, in this very camp in Bologna. We have not received much from the government. Things we only receive is the food we eat and the water we drink, and which is not supposed to be so. We need to have freedom, like the Italians. We need to have freedoms like the other immigrants who are here so here for the past. We don't just come here by accident. We come here during the bombing and the shooting just to save our lives. Just to have a better living. Just to make sure we are secure. So that's the reason we find ourselves here in Italy. So being here, things have really turned around for us. It's not what we expected we are receiving. In the aspect of the documents, we heard the news that they are going to give everybody one one year. Giving us one one year does not mean that when you give me one year, I go with my one year. No. Life doesn't end there. Future continues after one year. How can this be possible? It's when you give me one year, you give me the necessary things that follow with one year. We have the job, we have house, we have good treatment. These are things that have to go with one year. And some of our brothers who have gone for commission, some were given negative, and some were given a, two people were given a one year, one one year. So. Those that have gone for negative, today they went for the template of the one year. If you have been given one year and they ask you to go, where are we going to go? Because other brothers like me, I have no brother here in Italy. I'm alone. I have been working and receiving and living fine in Libya. So when I came here, I have nobody to run to except the government. And this is the government that can help us. I can also help those my brother who are standing behind you. And then the one thing is that 31st they are going to close the camp. And they're closing the camp with giving us one one year. Are they going to push us to the streets? Do they want us to sleep at the train station? Do they want us to sleep in some public place? Which is not supposed to be true. As a refugee, we need to be treated like one. As a refugee, which have value to the country, we need to be treated like so. That's why we are Nigerians. That's why we are blacks. That's why we are from Africa. Refugee must be given the right of a refugee. How can this be done? Giving me documents and giving me a good place to live. Because you see, or you can go into our rooms. Here is not what to live. Here is not a house. I call here a, a garbage just to, wreck, just, just to save your life for some time. But for some time, I have been prolonged to going to almost to two years, which is not supposed to be so. So we really want the government. The, the people who are in authority to come to our rescue because at the 31st of December I suppose everybody needs to be given a good accommodation at least we are 135 people living inside this place at least if you place three, three people in a room we will appreciate more than everybody living here living together here it doesn't, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't make you to think about the future it doesn't make you to think about what you need to receive ahead how can this be done? 35, 135 people living inside one place. If you want to read, then distract. If you want to do something that is reasonable, distraction comes. So with this thing, you can you can comprehend, understand. Look at me as my age now. If not for what happened to me, some of the circumstances that happened to me is in Nigeria. Supposed to be in school by now. And if I be in school in Italy, it's not a crime. How can this be possible? It's through the power of document and good accommodation and good assistance from the Italian government. So these are things we are really crying for. We have, we, have, we have been crying for the past sometimes. Until later we met our brothers and sisters who are TPU Association. We explained our feelings to them. And they ask us that they will take this matter to the government so that the government can come to our rescue. The government can come and really see a place we are living. On the 27th, we are meeting the Sinaco. And then on Tuesday, we are also meeting the the Emina uh, Romanian minister to express so our to, yeah, to express our feeling to him because if we can't go out like this, the last demonstration we have it was really a tough one. Yes, I said it was really a tough one, and we want results. 
in this demonstration we have made. We want result, a better result. Because if you don't want result, meaning we fail. But I believe we can fail. But we want result. At the end, we meet the Sinaco, the, the, the regional associate. The result we get from them will make us to have hope. The result we receive from them will make us to know what we need to plan for. Other brothers who are here, they are skillful in some many ways, in some handworking, some are mechanics, some, some do other jobs in Libya. But we are all inside here for the past 18 months. No one has no, no ever asked us, what kind of work do you learn in Libya? They will take you to a place where you can utilize your, skin, uh, your skills, or a place where you can improve yourself. No, but the skills inside this place are all dying. The future are all dying. How can this be possible? It's through the power of document and good accommodation. Not just, not, not just accommodation, a place better than living inside this place. That's all we need. Thank you.